Hi guys and welcome back to another Coloring with Haley video. The few books that I was waiting to come in the mail that I had purchased in January finally came in. So it's time to do a January haul video. So first and foremost I got my supposedly last issue of Coloring Heaven. The Creatures of the Night special with designs by Sarah Richter, or Richter, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And I did post a flip through of this one uh, on my channel. It's got some of these like more detailed, really light grayscale images. And then there are a lot of just uh, line art images in this. Which kind of have a little bit of detailing to show you where to shade. I do love the artwork in this one. This one is fantastic. It's got some really nice images in it. And this was supposed to be my last issue. I'm sure that you guys hear me gripe every time I do a flip through of one. Well, I got another issue in. I wasn't supposed to. Um, I, I keep getting emails asking me to rejoin Coloring Heaven, so I know that I didn't pay for this. I don't know if they sent it to me accidentally or not, but I have a flip through of this up on the channel. This is by Anastasia Ellie Coldariva, I believe is how you pronounce her name. It's the Mermaid Special, and it's got a lot of mermaids in it. This one, the line art is really light in. It's very light and thin, but, uh, it's nice. So, those are the two that came in the mail. Everything else is nothing that I subscribe to, of course. So, I got this Chewy Girls coloring book from my friend Misty. And the artist on this is Alice Brockmeyer. Now, it doesn't say it on the front of the book, but there is a page here in the very back, and it says her name right there. So this one has some nice simple images. They're really big so you have a lot of room to practice your shading and stuff, but it is super cute. I love this book. I colored a page on the channel out of here already. It's got a lot of really really nice images in it and she has a second one. Now it's not called Chibi Girls 2. It has the same exact name but it has a different cover. There is a girl in a panda costume on the cover. Here's the back of it. Uh, it includes 20 images but no doubles so there's no repeats. Next was the new Mystery Colors magazine. This one had a dinosaurs theme, and I love dinosaurs, so I went out and hunted for this for a while until I finally saw it on shelves, and I knew that I had to pick it up. Um, and of course, you know what the images of this look like before they're colored. But I will show you the images in the back really quickly. If you don't want to see that, you might want to look away. This issue is very colorful. Um, they kind of took the liberty to make the dinosaurs whatever colors they wanted since they went with the dinosaurs theme. And you kind of can make dinosaurs whatever color you want. So this one is a very good one if you like to color very bright and colorful images. I can say this is probably one of my favorites that they've put out just because of how bright and colorful it is. So that'll be out for two months, I think. Well, actually, it says display until... 4 5 21, so that would be April, wouldn't it? But that doesn't quite line up with how long these are out for. Okay. So the two books that I was waiting on in the mail that took forever were my Valentine's Day books. I don't have any Valentine's Day books, so I ordered two to color in. The first one is My Gothic Valentine by Deborah Muller. This has the matte cover on it rather than the shiny cover, so it feels, you know, that nice, soft, velvety cover. And I think this has more pages in it than her books normally do. Um, as you can see, I have the 50 romantic miniatures here, but just comparing the width of these two books, it looks like this Deborah Muller book is a little thicker than normal. I don't know, that might just be me. I think it must have more than 25 images in it inevitably. But this is a good one, and it's not, I mean, it is Valentine's Day, it's my gothic Valentine, but most of these images I think you could color year round, you know. I mean, this one, it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. This one, Love Sucks. This is a good one. It's a fun one. Um, kind of a darker take on Valentine's Day. But like I said, it doesn't have to be just for Valentine's Day. I think you could color in this one at any time of year, really. Especially around Halloween again, because they are kind of in a gothic style of dress. So. And then, of course, I kind of showed you that I have the 50 Romantic Miniatures by Camellia Angel Kova. This one is awesome. This one has a lot of pictures of food in it, as well as her little animals and little fairy houses and such. Here's a fairy house that is like 
you know, a cup of coffee with a strawberry on top. There was a picture in the front here of like a cake that just looked really, really good. Let me see if I can find it. Um, here we go. There's a lot of pictures like this of food in here, and I like that. And of course, there's her little critters. These mice are getting married in her fairy houses. I would say this could be just a general kind of springtime book, too, if you wanted it to, because it's got a lot of pictures with uh, flowers in it. And lots of heart shapes, which doesn't, again, it doesn't have to specifically be, you know, Valentine's Day. Like this right here could be a springtime image. There's nothing about that that I think is inherently Valentine's Day. This one may be a little bit Valentine's Day, but I think you get the drift of what I'm trying to say. You know, this could just be a little fairy house. So, for the next one, I'm going to have to zoom you in. This was also a happy mail, and I haven't shown it off on the channel yet because it is little bitty, and it would be a very, very short video. But I really love to collect stickers. So I had some of these, I think they're by Dover. Yeah, they are by Dover Publications. They have these little sticker books, um, and they're like a dollar, 99 or a dollar. And they're very cute, and I, I just love stickers a lot. So I have this on my wish list, and Misty ordered it for me. This is the old-time dogs and puppies stickers. Another thing is I'm really obsessed with vintage photos of dogs. That's kind of a weird thing to be obsessed with, but, like, I'm in so many Facebook groups for finding and sharing vintage dog photos. There's just something about them I think is really neat. These pictures are by Maggie Kate, and there are 29 designs. So let me open this up here and show this to you. They are all super, super cute. I love these little pugs in here, especially this one that's holding the baby. There's three pugs on this page and a little dog in a clown costume. And uh, they, the back of the pages are blank. And I do believe they're perforated, so you could tear the pages out if you wanted to. I love this little dog here with, like, the barrel of whiskey. Looks like he's ready to go to the hospital or something. He's got a bandage around his head. We've got, like, some hunting dogs and the collie there. I think those are Airedale Terriers, little Pekingese. And then over here we have the little Dash Hound, of course. There's another one down there. Not sure what these are, maybe a little Shih Tzu or something, but they are cute. And some in the bag there. A little Yorkie. And then we go to the final page. There are four pages of pictures. So we have like a St. Bernard here. You have a German short-haired pointer here. I love this cute puppy with the fat tummy. You've got this, I would say this is a hunting dog breed. I'm not sure. Let me see if his collar says something. Okay, no, it's just the design on the collar. It does make it look like words. The girl with the bulldog. They're such sweet little pictures. This is really a really nice um, sticker book. And it says that these are acid-free inks, papers, and adhesives. So... I'll read you what this says here on the back because it gives you a little bit of information. Victorians were fond of sentimental poses and especially fond of dogs. It's no surprise then that the dogs and puppies were favorite sitters for late 19th and early 20th century painters and illustrators. Here are 29 appealing canine portraits from that era in a sticker collection dog lovers will find irresistible. Okay, so these might not... Maggie Kate might have just turned these into stickers. These might be from more famous dog paintings then, I wonder. But that was a really nice surprise to find. I enjoyed it a lot. So, I did have more of a haul than I thought I would this month, especially since I got some surprises in the mail and such. I knew I was going to buy some pages for Valentine's Day, but, you know, I didn't know I was going to get anything else in the mail. So, it kind of turned into actually a pretty fruitful month, and I'm happy with everything I got. And I should have flip-throughs up of these two Valentine's Day books. I'm going to go ahead and post this video before I do the flip-throughs to make sure I get it out. It'd be a little bit weird if I posted my uh, haul for January on, like, February 15th or something. So you will see flip-throughs of these two books. Just be patient and let me get them up. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.